Hey everyone, Leo here. Uh, today's tutorial is on how to fund your blockchain wallet. So this is a very popular wallet uh, in a lot of ways one of the more secure wallets and if, if you don't know what it's a wallet for, it's for Bitcoin. So if I, I assume you probably already know that. But some of you might have a difficult time funding it. So you've got to obviously create the account, which I've already done here, and you log in. Once you get in, you'll end up seeing a screen similar to this. Now this is a brand new account. I wanted to make sure that you saw exactly how to do it. Now the first thing you probably want to do when you set up your wallet is you got to make sure you go to the security center. There are some steps there you probably want to make sure you set up. Very basic. I don't think I need a tutorial for that. But for, for you to be able to receive funds, you want to make sure you know how to do that. So obviously you can see there's a receive button here, start receiving bitcoins there. Uh, just pretty much pretty self-explanatory. When you do that, you're going to see that there's a code here. Okay, that address is the one that's used for you receiving funds. If you're doing it with a phone, you'll see that there's a QR code here, and that QR code is where you can actually send funds to. And it'll get here. Now, you'll notice that if you do it again, the, the code might change. And that's totally fine. It's part of their security to make sure that you don't have the exact same code all the time. So all you've got to do is copy that code and when you're done, that's it. So you copy that code. Now you've got to figure out where you're going to fund it from. If you have another wallet, you can go to that wallet and just send it to that particular address. If you're within the US and you're wanting to take dollars and put them into actual Bitcoin, there's a internet bank that's called Circle. You can set up an account, pretty self-explanatory. And then from there, once you log in, you can actually connect a debit card or a credit card or a bank account and be able to fund it. You can either fund it straight into your Circle account or you can actually have the withdrawals happen directly right from your bank. So in this particular case, I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to click there. I'm going to put the address here. And then I'm going to make sure that I click Bitcoin. And in this particular case, I'm going to send 0.05 Bitcoin. Now, as you can tell, I don't have anything in my circle account, so it'll gray that out. But I'm going to go straight from one of my banks. That's it. Then I go ahead and submit it. So let me do that. You will be given information here to verify how much you're going to be putting in. And then from there, you can actually, you will receive on your phone a verification code. So let me put that in and submit. As you can see, it says that I've sent a certain amount to that specific address and we're good to go. So in just a matter of time, that amount is going to be received here, which as you can see right away, it's already there. So it is good to go. So it happened in real time. There it is. It's set. There's nothing else that needs to be done. You just sometimes it, the, my, the verifications might take a little bit longer than it did on this video. So be patient and they should show up. So I hope this video was useful to you. I hope that it makes it easy for you to fund your account. And if you are using some other wallet, it's the same process. You just got to send it to that specific address and then decide how much you're going to put in. Thank you for watching. And if you want any more tutorials like this, feel free to connect with me. And I'll put some of the links below so that you can go ahead and do that. Take care.